is up guys i'm daddy i'm a friend and welcome back to another pokemon sword and shield distribution guide video in today's video we're going to be going over how to add ashes surfetch into your pokemon sword and shield games now if you don't know the code on the top right will be the code that you would need to enter in if you don't need the steps there's the code voila also the date on the bottom will be when this code will end it's gonna end i believe september 22nd so again you you got about a week to jump in and grab the code in order to get the code you will need mystery gifts so you will need to at least play the game until you get this you get this about two hours in you need to go to mystery gift get mystery gift and then you gotta get via code slash password and then you gotta enter in the passcode and don't don't worry it's not a one-time use passcode everybody could use the same code and then you'll be able to get your surfetch gift and voila Surfetch back in Pokemon Sword. He, he's from Pokemon Sword and Shield, but again, this is Ashes. It will have it in the description of the Pokemon that this is from the Pokemon anime. So, and I believe his original trainer name would also reflect Ash. But again, it's in Japanese, so I don't really know. Confirm and go to check summary. Now again, there's no way to determine or to switch the language to a different language. I didn't even notice that the leak actually goes into and over the UI of the name. That's funny. But again, fighting Surfetch, it's holding a leak because that's what Surfetch needs to evolve, I believe, in order to turn into Surfetch. The moves it has is a Meteor Assault, Brutal Swing, Furry Cutter, and detect and i'm a little bit in the way i had someone say that in the other video so let me um move my webcam real quick i didn't move the webcam webcam there we go um that didn't work remove everything there we go it says this pokemon is pretty brave by nature it seems to have met its original trainer in a faithful encounter when it was level 80 and it says the date was 0909-2022 and it seems it came from the Pokemon animated show. So again, this is the only way to have that description saying that it came from the Pokemon animated show on a Pokemon. So again, that, that makes it unique. That makes it pretty cool. However, it's not in, if you remember, it's not, they don't put them in the Cherish Ball, unfortunately. I love all my event Pokemon in the Cherish Ball. It makes it very easy to notice that they're in an event when you in Pokemon Home as well. You gotta check inside of their info and stuff like that to find out that it's Ash or find out that it's from the Pokemon animated show. And that just makes it an extra step, an extra workaround. I get it. They wanted to keep it just as it was caught in the show inside of the same ball. So I understand that portion of it. But I think the Cherish Ball, come on. It looks so dope. Give it to us. That's just my opinion of the Pokemon. If you have any more questions or thoughts about this Surfetch, let's talk about it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Pokemon, Call of Duty, Fortnite, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on. I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos. I don't... Wait, what the... Peace. I'm getting tired. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.